Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. We are continuing to creating our facades. Today we will create the new one facade, which is you can see right now on your screen. We will create this facade. So you will get all prepare file. You need only the one thing start to create this project. So here I already prepared for you the file. As you can see here is only the floors, that's it, we don't need anything more, it's like a reference for you. And on the other side you can see all the families which is we will use. Yes, these families you don't need to uh, change, it's already done to work. So you need only the one thing, you need place on the right side. In this series I'm showing you right techniques. I'm not showing how to, for example, create these families. This is already another tutorial, another story. If you're interested will be about the, how to create this type of the families, just leave your comment below this video and maybe I will try to create the new video about these families. But today we're talking only about the techniques. So, if you're ready to create this um, facade, let's get started. And now, first of all, we will create the, our walls. So we have the three types of different wall. All the types of the wall already in your template, which is you can download below this video. Don't forget, uh, this is lesson number three. You need to download the template number three. So first of all, as I said, we're going to the uh, some level. Let me, I will go to the level one. Here, we, our level one, it's already our um, floor prepared. So you don't need to change it if you want to follow me. If not, uh, create your own. And as you can see here, the our height from the offset, it's like minus 100. So this is a gap from the um, from the, our level. It's uh, such a standard. Uh, again, uh, if you're working in another country, you have another standards. Uh, so, we're going to the wall, and here are already some uh, benches of the wall. Uh, this is standard from the template, like generic interior, but we will use the mine wall, which is already prepared for you. As you can see here, we have the naming, like constru uh, constructive one and external wall, and this is what we need. First of all, as I said, we need the reinforced concrete. This is constructive, uh, let's use that. And let's ch change the our location line to the finish or to the yeah to the finish. Where's our finish exterior one? And let's create on the left side. Again, as I said, you can follow me. You can not follow me. This is up to you. So let me I will create here the uh, let's say the my uh, construction part. Here is our my construction part, as you can see. And after that, uh, I will create something like that. So again, as I said, you can follow me or not. Uh, I created something like a hole because here I will place my ventilation mullions. And that's why I'm doing like that. Uh, after that, um, I want to create on the other side. Let me I will do like that. Uh, between of them, I want to create, let's say it will be 2600 millimeter like that and here I will create also the my wall as you can see everything I creating into internal side I mean it's standing on the my floor uh, if you're an architect you already know these things I don't need to explain to you okay so the next thing I want to create isolation I already prepare as I said all the type of the wall and here you will mm, find isolation let me I will select it don't forget again to change the uh, finish or interior exterior. Uh, it is doesn't different because you can use the space bar to change the direction. So and let's create it one and two. And here the same thing from this side to this side. Okay. We did it. If you cannot see properly anything, you can change the type of the graphics to the fine view and you will see directly here is the our concrete, uh, I mean the uh, reinforced side and here is our isolation. So now, now we need only the one thing, we need to place our, our mullions. Now we should use our curtain wall. If you will go to the architecture wall, you will find easily there uh, the already curtain wall. Let me I will show you again. Uh, here you will find external grid horizontal. So this is what we need. 
So let's place it again. So I will place it somewhere here because after that we can easily, easily change the dimension and uh, the how long it will be. Uh, of course, it's uh, a bit lagging because uh, the curtain wall, which is I use, actually we are using the geometrical. It's not just uh, hatching. I mean the uh, our grills. Actually, all these grills, it's the geometry. So I already placed it. Uh, again, let's just wait. If you don't want to use, for example, uh, the panels like that, you can change it easily. So it's up to you again, as I said before. Here it's already uh, created. Let me, I will change the direction because it's the wrong direction, as you can see. And now I should place it a bit here, not like that. So uh, we have the two ways uh, how you can do that. I prefer to use this one because uh, our, as you can see, the mm, uh, curtain wall starting not from this corner. Uh, we can use a line, but also we can use, for example, the um, we can move by this way too. Let me I will use the dimension again and from this side, and I will select that. And as you can see now, it's blue color. We can say change to the zero. And it's exactly place it where I want. So now I uh, really know this what I want. But as you understand, our uh, heights, both of them, like a wall, like this grid line, it's not correct at all. So we should change it. I think uh, we can make uh, unconnected, but 3100 millimeter. I will tell you later on why. Let me, I will do 2100 millimeter. Now it's, as you can see, it's going till the uh, our floor. I think we also should change the our basic uh, offset. It's not, will be like 200, or I mean the min minus 100, it will be like 200 millimeters. Let me, I will do 200 millimeters, as you can see. So again, uh, if I have here 200 millimeters, let me, I will do here 3000 only. Even, even, even smaller. Oh, 3000, I said, no, 280. Let's do like that. Again, now it's about the design mostly. It's not about, it's not about something technical thing. 2500, I think, will be much enough. Let me will check. Yes, this is what I want. We will change it a bit later on. Now it's just approximately placing. So let me will change the height of the our walls. I will select all the our walls. And uh, we know exactly it should start from the boy base of set minus 100. Oh no, it's this is uh, external isolation. Yes, this is one minus 100. And the uh, heights it will be till the till the level two till the level 2, uh, minus 200 millimeters. Let me will do. And yes, it's... No, it's not. It's not exactly what I want, because it should go till this... Ah, no, it, this is everything all right, because the next isolation will go in this side. Okay, we did it. But this thing, it's much simplest. I mean, the uh, our basic construction things. Uh, we know the level is minus 100 and our the second level it will be 2 and minus 300. Why 300? Because minus 100 uh, the offset and plus slab thickness 200. So minus 300 millimeter. So exactly. So we did it. And as you can see, everything now all right. So what the next? Next we should place here the something which is will cover the cover for, for our curtain wall. And now much interesting part. We should somehow the cover our mm, grill and also we should cover our isolation because how it looks like? It looks like isolation without any protection, without any external uh, design things like panels, clinker panels, let's say. Let me use the height one and let go, let's go to the level one. Now we will go to the wall again. Here I already prepared everything, as I said. External wall clinker panel. Let me let me will use that one and let's use the finish uh, exterior again. And let's place it somewhere here first. So I already did it. And as you can see, now it's covered all our mm, gap for the grill. Let me will go to the 3D view and we need prepare everything again. So let me will do the minus 100 millimeter here, here will be minus 200 millimeter and here will be, yeah, yeah, I know, here will be till level 2 and minus 200 millimeter, so it's, 
I, I did it wrong and one minus, minus 100 will here. It's exactly the dimension for like we did for the isolation. So just follow that and use it. So now we have the our clinker part. So we already covered it as you can see in, uh, our isolation. And now we can place our uh, cover for the our grill. You will find it here. Here I have the few one, as you can see, actually this is only one, but different size. We will use, for example, this one and just randomly place whenever you want, like this. Let's go to the level one and let's prepare it. Use the align key and let's align it here. The size of our, uh, I mean the opening from the our cover, it's exactly the same like I did here. If you didn't follow me, here the size okay so this is exactly the same as you can see we did it okay everything correct i will delete this one let's go now to prepare all the other things so if you will go to the 3d uh, you can see the our height of the grill much bigger than this uh this panel first of all let me i will uh make it right on the uh, facade I need some facade view. Let me use this sound view. Oh, yeah, this is sound view. And let's use the, uh, first of all, I will use the move. Next one, I will use the line. And let's move it here. Is it all right? I think, yes, this is all right. Let me use the fine graphic and the shaded one. Here, now I can see exactly. Yeah, this is all right, but height, no. The height of our uh, grill, how much is that? 2,500 millimeter. Uh, 200, I think 2,500 millimeter. Let me will select the my panel and here the height I will change 2,500 millimeter. Uh, yes, it's turning on this side, but it's okay. We can use the align key again and let's align. Is it enough? Oh, uh, I don't like this one. Let me will use like that. Yeah, it's working. And as you can see, now it's exactly the right side. I will go to the 3D view. I much prefer 3D view. And I will use the shaded one too. And as you can see, we created the cover for our panel. Now you can select this panel and, for example, use the uh, some slope here. There are some optional things. You just cl click and try it. It's or, For example, if I will use this one, uh, I get here, the as you can see, um, like dividing. So that's why I say it uh, better to use, for example, the custom families, uh, because you can control what you want. If you will use, for example, some uh, internal, I mean, the, some model in place, it will be hard to calculate it. Yes, you can calculate it by material, but it's a bit hard to control what you want. So better to create your own families or use mine, just rename all the parameters and use it. Okay, nice. We created already our grill, but what about the window? So. For the window, we should go again to the level one and let's create our window. Uh, first of all, let me, I will just calculate how much the distance I have from this side to this one. And it's like 100 for uh, 1460. Let me, I will change a bit it because I want to make it a bit smaller. Let's do the 1160. Uh, because it's not, uh, if we will do longer, it's not will be enough the space for the two, uh, two windows. I want to place here the two windows and let's, let's do like that. Let's do like that. Again, as I said, now it's, uh, it's mostly about the design thing. Uh, you can create whatever you want. Just can follow the main things what I'm doing. So we no need now create exactly the, uh, I mean, again, the wall and again, they change the size. We can now use this, uh, these walls and you just can copy it, like create similar and create some way here. Let's me, I will create it. And this is, will be 1,200 million, uh, 1,130. We create it and we should keep the distance. Distance of our window, let me, I will make uh, 1,900. 1, this is such a standard 1900 i hope in, we will get enough now space here if not we will just uh, a bit move everything to the left let me will try to do that 
I will copy it and 1900. No distance. As you can see, it's not enough even now. It's okay, it's okay because we can select everything. We just only started and just move it here simply. Okay, as I said, now it's all right. And let me we'll use the our panel here. So here we will place our windows. So we already have our construction part. We can go, for example, to the 3D view and you can see here is our construction part. Uh, basically, the construction part, uh, the uh, it's not under the architect. It's under the another discipline who creating the construction. So but we are now the learning and we can create by ourselves. So if I did something wrong, sorry, guys, we are now talking only about the facade, not even the architecture. Architecture, we're talking only about facade. Let's go to the create the similar of our isolation and let's place it here. And let's place isolation also here. OK, uh, to be honest, we should uh, create the similar like that. It will be looks much better. Let me will do like that. Let's use the trim. And our isolation also will create like that. Why I'm creating the by different walls? This is under the our rules. You can read it also uh, below the video. You will find the, the standard from the my customer. And let's say this is your customer too. And you should follow it. And there you will find you should use the separate walls, not the how it's called multiply wall, only the separate one. Okay, we did it. So it's not takes a lot of the time and now it's time to place our window uh, i want to also create one more isolation i will uh, explain you why and we will create it here but better not connect it actually because now it's as you can see it was connected let me i will use the create and uncheck the connected ways that our align joins this allow because this is will be just something like um, mm, uh, let's say place where we will place our window let's say like that and uh, also it will be uh, fill all the gaps where we should have for example isolation in our window it will fill all the gaps that's why i'm using the isolation i'm not trying to model and inside in the family of the window i just using this way it's uh it's kind of uh, it's much simpler let's say like that let's go to the window here I already have the few windows and you just should use only this one two with the casements and bottom the casement and that's it let's place it i already place it let me i will go to the level one and let's align it only the one thing you need to do let's align it and as you can see the it's going inside so everything all right i don't need create it and here it's also actually should do like that but sometimes and here as you can see also isolation you don't need to create this smaller parts so this is what this why i'm doing like that only for this thing okay we created but i can see now i did something wrong what i did wrong uh actually between the our part of the panel clinker panel should have the some air gap it's something like 60 millimeter if i'm not mistaken so and now it's much much right because we should hear the gap it's not will be connected exactly and now as you can see it's much correct looks like and uh, our our slope also also on the right position just let me will check only one thing i don't like why here the we have the x here we don't have the x i will just change the shaded one and now everything all right as you can see here we have isolation on the both sides so everything all right let me go the hide one and here we should place only now the our panel uh, let me go to the 3d so everything all right and as you remember to place this panel we should uh, the our clinker panel uh, place it for the whole of this line let me go to the south view and let just extend it till here and here we are i will just copy this one i don't need to actually create exactly the same and i will place it here and as you can see here our window let me i will select it and use the another one here the smaller one and it's not smaller it's a bit thick let me I will go to the level one. Yeah, as you can see, I'm really working, like going to the one level, to the another level, to the another view. And let's align it. Let's align it till here. And as you can see, it's a perfect place on this side. 
actually <laughs> actually not so perfectly because we should place it more a bit inside uh, we can do that we can do that let me will do let's see let's use a line we can use a line or we can just extend this file uh, I mean this this file not file I mean extended uh, this model actually you can prepare it how I will show you you just can select the panel uh, let's use dimension and let's check it 358 let's select our panel now let's go to the edit type and you will find here yeah 58 is here so we, we can change it for example it will be 360 maybe it's 60 let's select it no it's not 60 it's, uh, I think it's 70 or 80 yeah, 70, it's exactly the 70. So we change it, we already fix it. And the same thing we can do, for example, with the thickness, because I mean the with width, because it's as you can see, it's uh it's somehow it's correct, but somehow no. What I mean? Uh my window also they have the slope, as you can see. Here is the slope. And let me I will uncheck it. And here now I don't have a slope. Let me I will go to 3D. Because we have the slope inside our panel, why we should use there, but you can use if you want. And now we now should change only the height of the our wall, I mean the panel and our window. So how we can do that, let me we'll use again a line. So first of all, I want to uh, align my, uh, I want to do my, the same level, I mean the, for uh, my this panel. What is that? Oh, this is not correct. Let me do like that. Okay, and I wanna make the same height here because it will be looks nice when it will be the same height. And let's check the our window now. Our window. Yeah, we did everything correct. So here actually should uh, you can make the smaller if you want. If you wanna create, for example, uh, some additional things, you can create it here. But we already did everything correct because here we, inside we will use the stacked wall. I will show you how it's used. So we already create the window, and as you can see, it looks really awesome. But you will say, okay, you did the let me will hide this one, just temporary height. You did all everything correct, but what what with this wall? We already have this wall. You will find it here. You can create, for example, the another type of the. Uh, you can use the, for example, the same type of the wall, and make it much height. I mean, the much less height than other one, and make the big offset. Or you can use, if your standard allow this, you can use, for example, the stacked wall. I already have the stacked wall. Let me will create it here. And as you can see, here it's air gap. And here is our stacked wall. Let me will place on the right position. Uh, it's a bit height. It's a bit hard to use, for example, uh, as you can see, it's on the plan. But okay, we can see it. We can use it. Let me will place here. And we should make it smaller, of course. And uh, the thickness, I think it's not correct. Let me we'll go to the inside. Why thickness not correct? Because we have the 220 millimeters of the plaster. So here we don't have the plaster. So we should just a bit extend it on the 20 millimeters. Or we should just switch off the plaster. It's up to you. I know it will be switch off because we should create it, basically. Uh, just one thing. I want to see where is the plaster, actually. I will go to the 3D view again. Uh, that we should first uh, change the height because height it's not correct or we can use the just the line this is magic thing no actually a line not working I don't know why let's use like that I say it go till here why you don't wanna go somehow he don't wanna go oh okay everything correct we did it, and I, I hope this is plaster here, or we can just go to the edit type, just rename it, and we can delete, for example, here the plaster, and we will do only 200 millimeters, like this, and just edit type, and here we should change, we should change type of the wall to the just concrete. Let me will use, that's it. Now just let's align it, done. And as you can see, we created this part. Now we just can simply uh, copy it on the other side where we have our grill panel. 
like this and like this let me go to the again to the 3d view uh, of course here the size another one let's use the line key and let's align it but okay i will do it manually okay Actually, we have here the also isolation because I don't have it. Uh, it's now about, uh, you know, we're doing so much detailing right now. Because before, I think you already did it, but here is the guidance. And let's make our isolation till the end. I say till the end. Let me go to the level one. As you can see here, it's not so correct because we should here do our isolation with the... Uh, we should make the height. Oh, why here the window? Let's delete the window. Yeah, we should now change the height of uh, our isolation here. Let me select here and minus... It's not minus, uh, let's do the 2000 millimeter. I will go to the 3D view and I will just align it. Here, as you can see, it will be till here. I will align it like this, and the height will be till here. Done. And as you can see, we already create part of this part, uh, part of this side. Also, you can create on the le uh, on the um, below. So, but it's already up to you. What about the window? Now we just can, oh, be careful with that, unswitch off. Uh, you just can select everything, all these things, like this. Uh, better to, first of all, the, make the our clinker part much bigger. I want to create or select all these things and my panel. I will go to the level, level 1 and I will just copy it on the other side. From this side to this side, like this. Done. Let me will go to the 3D view, and as you can see, we already created the second window. As you understand, after that we will create the group, and we'll just create uh, the copy the group on the all the side. And as you can see, we already under the finish, under the finish this side. So let me I will now create uh, here the window, and I will back when we will use. Uh, no, I will create this part, and uh, we will create the corner window. Let's go now to the level 1 and let's continue to create this one thing. Now I will use again the same thing. I will uh, place it here like this and I will place it here like this. Uh, as you remember, we should um, extend it on the 60 millimeters for the air gap. Let me I will I'll extend it to the 60 millimeters and after that I will use the, just the trim. Let's use the trim and as you can see here the sun mistaken and just do it manually. Or, uh, oh, here is unchecked, sorry, it's my mistake. Uh, the, here is unchecked connection. So let me will check the connection, unjoin it. Let me till here. Let me will do like this. Now everything all right. And let's do the same thing here. Connect it, trim, connect. Okay, done. And let's place it, uh, it should be connected somewhere, somewhere here. Here will be our window. Uh, we should place again our um, our isolation. I will place it somewhere here, and also we should place our construction part. Let me will place it here. Okay, as you remember, I prefer to use so uh, between of them 1,900 millimeters. This is again, as I said, uh, such a standard for that one. Uh, let's do one by one. 1,900, and here it also will be from this part 1900 millimeters okay done here is enough the space now for the, our corner window and let's extend our clinker so we did it now what we need we need to create the our window so as you remember i prefer to use the let me i will do here the connection because actually here should be a connection i will copy it but uh, we will disallow a connection for this part. Okay, let's place it. We're done. Now it's time to create, uh, to actually to place our window. Let me will select this window. Here is this window and let me will create the similar and we will place 
somewhere here. So how, how it will be right? Right, it will be on this side. Okay, let me will place it and I will use the align key to place it much correct than we have right now. No, it's not much correct. This is less correct. And now it's right. Okay, we did it. Let me go to the 3D view and now we can see here is our window. Actually, the height is again the, uh, not right. So let me, I will align by this way. Uh, we can do, you do it from this side or we can just copy the parameters. But it's already, I, as I say, this is up to you. You can follow me, you not. If you if you know one, don't follow me. Uh, where is the, this side? Okay, it's, my, it's less right then i want to do that let's use some corner and this one okay now it's the same size uh now we need to create the our panel but we not will use the same panel uh, because this is panel just extended to the exterior side we want to do uh, the different side uh, we want to push it inside so oh, i already have the for this one the families uh, which is you can use you should go now to the component uh, under the architecture and here you will find another type of the panel, the panel uh, with the slope. Let me I will use, uh, for example, this one and I will place it somewhere here. As you can see, it's too big. Uh, let's make this smaller. Now you can use just uh, these joysticks to connect or to change the size. And let me I will place it till here. Uh, we should go now to the level one. Oh, yes, uh, as always, we should uh, just uh, manipulate uh, with our window in all different views and change where it should be. Uh, note, it's not correct. Let me will choose it again, and I will just move on a bit on the right uh, or the left side. Now, now it's right. But we should change the deep, uh, how it's going inside, as you can see. It's not correct now. Uh, we should check how much it's going inside. Let me will check it. From this external side to this side, it's 370 millimeter. Again, uh, we do the same thing. I will select the my panel. I will go to the edit type and here I will find 200. Uh, it looks like this one. Let me will change to the 300 millimeter. Uh, it's not the same, I think it's too far, 250, and we'll just play around. 250, let me make this smaller, 200 millimeter, 200 millimeter, and I think it's too far, 210, or maybe 20. 10, yeah, 20, 220. Let's do that, and let's say OK. OK, we did it. So now it's exactly on the side, and as you can see, it looks really pretty, really awesome. We can go now to the 3D view, and you can see how it looks like. But the height, it's not correct. It's okay, we can use the align key. Uh, our align key actually doing everything. So we can go to the south view. It's much better. Let me will select exactly the my panel, and I will change the height till here. So now everything alright, but height or oh, it's not correct. Now because we have here the our joystick, we can extend it manually, and it till here. And as you can see, now it looks like okay, but here we have the some problem. Uh, I don't like what what is that? Oh, I think this is isolation maybe. No, it's uh, the stacked wall looks like. We should make it a bit smaller as you can see. It's going till. Uh, this side, I think we should make it much smaller. Uh, let's do that. Let's go to the external, and I think it will be uh, 300 millimeters. You, of course, you should uh, not do like approximately like me. You should, for example, the height of this side, uh, height this one. Oh, no, not this one. This one. And where is our stacked wall? Somewhere here. Yes, and hide everything. Hide this one. Uh, no, this is stacked wall. This is isolation. And where is the other? I think the yeah, I think this one. Yeah, I think we should make it. It's much a bit smaller by thirty millimeters. Okay, okay, it's not a big problem. Let me will do minus thirty millimeters for this stacked wall. So it will be 270 
So do everything properly. Once you will do that, uh, after that you not will have any problems. Okay, 270. Now it's exactly on the side as you can see. Uh, because we changed the type, it's also changed was here. So you no need to worry about that. Let me uncheck everything, and as you can see, now it looks everything correct. Actually, this uh, windows now have the different type of the mm, of the as you can see the here the black one here not. Let's check why. And the reason why because uh, our stacked wall have inside the air. So we should go to the material, make it uh, transparent. As you can see, here is the air. So air gap. So you can do like that. Uh, because I'm using here the uh, hided line, it's not a big problem. But if you want to make really clear, go to the material and change the air to the transparent one. If you care about that. But I don't, so I will leave as it is. It's not a big problem. So now it's uh, time uh, to create some uh, additional things. I mean the corner window. It's time for the corner window. Again, everything same. Let me will just again copy it here and place uh, on this side. Uh, and we also need uh, our isolation. Let me copy and place on this side. So we will do just by one, one by one. And here I will just again the copy and create on this side. Let me will do that and extend on the 60 millimeters as you remember. 60 millimeters. Okay, done. So we have the something what we want and now I want to again copy it and don't forget this allow to, uh, to connection and let's create on this side and this side here actually we can use allow the connection why because we need here the connection okay now it's time to go to the 3d view let me here on the 3d view and place our window let's go to the window and you basically I mean easily find here the corner window let me will place the corner window just use the space bar to the uh, to the change the direction as you want as you can see here you can change it or you can go to the uh, to the some level and place it here I mean the, to the level you uh, I think we will place like this now we should just uh, align align this part with this part that's it so it's it's, it's somehow the size uh, not right but we will connect it uh, we will prepare it Let's go to the 3D view and as you can see now we have the corner window. Around the internet you will find the thousands I think the different corner windows that just you can download any which is you want and use uh, on your project. I just showing to you how to work with the mine. But as I said you can use any. It's not a big problem. So let me will align it and now everything alright. Now we just should align our clinker part but uh, we will use the, the panel some and we will for example, the align our uh, isolation because we have two different isolation here, and we should align our construction part. It's here. Let me will align it too. Okay, we was align everything here. Let me go to the level one and let's align everything here. I will use the here. Here it's okay. Here I think it should be go till here. No, he actually not like this. Here it should go. To, ah, yeah, it's like this. I think it's yeah, it's working like this. And here it's going much bigger here. And this one we will have this here the panel too to place it inside. Okay. As you can see, we was created our corner window. Let me go to the 3D, and now we should make uh, should use this panel too. Now it's much easiest part. You should go to the level one and let's extend our uh, clinker part. We already have here, so we can use the just a trim like this. And now we have the corner. If you will go to the 3D, now we have the corner. Now we should use the same thing, which is we use the here. I mean the panel. Let's select this panel. Let's copy and place the same here. I will place it some way here. The height will be the same. I think, <laughs> I hope so. And let's just change the type of them. So it will be something like that. It's, you can just change this one. And we will change this to flex. And as you can see, now we don't have the part here, we have only the left side. If you will go to the level, you will see it's better. Now, as you can see, 
where is that it's here oh we should uh sweep it because it's on the right side it should be go on the left side yeah just space bar and sweep it and let's use the align key align key till here done and again as you can see it's going too deeply inside we should just change this thing where is that edit and it was 250 i think we did for 270 i think let me check it yeah it's 270 and that's it we did it left side and uh, the thickness it's not enough i mean the uh, it's not enough the width we should change it uh it's really i think i think this is really easy go to just the edit type and here the change to the another size uh, I think here will be uh, 200 for 280, 3480. Let's apply it because I was used the wrong one. Let me will use the line. And let's align. And now, yeah, it's correct. Let's go to the... Oh, we can do it actually here. No, we, we should go to the level. And the south view. Where is the south view? Here. And let's change the position. Position, it will be here. Maybe, maybe, yeah, here. Everything all right? Yeah, everything all right. It's now exactly on the side. Let's go to the 3D view. Let's check it. Everything all right, as you can see. And as you can see here, we have the angle one. So we should place now another type of this left side too. Actually, it should extend it, not like this. It should be extended. Let me will extend it. Let me will select it. Where is that? He here. And let's extend it. Actually, it was 2000 here. We not will change anything here, so let me will just create another type on the 3D view here. Uh, now I think we need west part. Uh, I think west part, not it's not west part, I think this it is part. Yeah, it's part. Let me will use the align key again, and we should somehow to align it. I said somehow to align it, and let's make it smaller. I think this one it should be, but now everything we should do in a 3D view. Okay, let me will see where is that. Oh, it's here. And let's align it. Align to this part with this part. Yeah, okay, we did it. But the height it's not right. Let's align it. Or we can just use the move. Again, this is up to you. Let's use the move. We already move it. Let's go to the 3D view. Yeah, this is, as you can see, this is really hard work because you should do it one by one, one by one, all on and on, and just spending your time. But till you will do one thing, uh, everything will be alright. So now the our actually the size it's not correct. Let me will change size of them. I think it will be 2,500 millimeter. Maybe it's much smaller. You need just play around with that. Uh, it's not 2,500. Uh, 2,400 millimeter. Uh, 2,200. Oh, 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 not 20,200. Oof, it's my mistake. Oh, where is my window? Oh. 2,200 millimeter. It's a bit smaller. <laughs> 2,000... 150 I think right and here it's also should be a bit smaller 2000 for 300 2000 uh, 2300 
three two o o three two five o so it just a bit again <laughs> and fifty millimeters here maybe it's less than fifty millimeters okay it's very it's a bit noisy right now <laughs> two thousand uh, 2,027.5, let's do like that, no, it's 2,005, oh, let's leave it as was, as it was, uh, I know the problem, because the problem actually, this is a line, we should go to the, uh, I think the level, I hope we can see it there, and we should just move it, we just, just, uh, we just uh, need a bit move it. We cannot move without the wall. So we should move the wall. <laughs> 10 millimeter. Let's go to the 3D. Yes, just 10 millimeter. And here it's around, uh, I think. Where is that? As you can see, it's sometimes really hard. We just need a line only this thing. Where is that? Here, just pick. Let's align. Oh my god, it's really noisy. Let's I will do like that. Now we can see exactly. It's going inside as you can see, it shouldn't be going inside. By this much I mean. 10 millimeter inside, no it's not helping to us. Uh, we should somehow to change this one internal thing let me oh sorry it's really stupid now now everything all right let's align it yes yes finally finally we are on the final way let me go to the level i not will cut this thing because uh, if you will stack you will can see why you stack so it will be better for you guys let me just move it till here and now i will just extend it that's it I forgot by how much we should extend, but we will play. Uh, we will play around now with this number. Uh, Three thousand. Let's do. Let's align it, and we will do one by one align. thousand is too much let's make a bit smaller two thousand seven hundred uh no it's two thousand eight hundred or nine hundred like this uh level one again a line yes we can lock but i really don't like the lock that's why i'm not locking on that side so they're a bit smaller, just a bit, but we already know this is 200, 800, 2800, I mean. So if we will go to the level one, if we will align it, everything should be okay. Ah, this is 50 millimeters only. Let's make this 50 millimeters and we done. We already done. Where is that? 2850. 
Be careful because we need to align it again here. Okay, I will move. If you know wanna like that, I will just move. Oh my god. A to O. It's just kidding me. And done. Finally. Uh, actually, we should do the same thing with the left side, but uh, really, guys, I already tired of that. Uh, you can do by by your own, but actually, maybe I will change it right now. Oh, yay. No, I will change it on the behind. If I will do right now here, you will uh, you will become crazy. So I will change it on the, on the behind. And here we are. Finally, I did it. Oh, it was hard. But once you will did it, you no need to do it more. Okay, guys. Uh, the other side, you will create the same like we did. So, and finally, after that, you will select everything. And now you're creating the group. You should say this is 1 to the 5, for example, the level, um, but we have only 3 levels, it's okay, we will do like that. And after that, just copy, paste, and just align the levels like this. And that's it. As you can see, we really spend a lot of the times to uh, create our levels from uh, first level. But on other levels, it's creating really fast. Only the thing which which is, which is used need uh, correct. Uh, we need correct only this one. Uh, it should be have the zero here. Let's place OK. No, not zero. Minus one hundred. Sorry, guys. Again, I did mistake. Minus one hundred. This is also should be be minus one hundred. And this one also the minus one hundred. So this was my, my mistake and uh, just do it everywhere where we did mistake. But once you will uh, prepare it, minus 100, so let me, I will do the fast, it's not will take all of the time. And here the minus 100, here also, and here also, uh, minus 100. Okay, and this one and this one, it's only two, two, minus 100 done oh uh, yeah not done because here we have on also the three things actually let's do like that and minus 100 be careful with that okay and let's apply it done and as you can see here is our facade it's really fast uh, of course, if you will change here the uh, size, uh, I mean the, the height, it also will change any uh, any uh, on the other side. Also, you will find here the some additional things. It's already you can do by yourself. Uh, here, it's like you will find the facade panels, a rectangular one. I will just place some of them. For example, here, I will place one panel, and I will place some way here like this you can place it actually now it's wrong uh, I think it's now the wrong side no we just need to extend the panel and it will be work uh, what I mean they extend the panel if you go to the level one as you can see it's going inside uh, you can extend the panel or you just make the less uh, thickness which is going to the inside this one you will find here uh, I think it's this one 1,100 to 20, let's do that. No, it's another thing. 200, 400, it will be okay. Uh, po -po 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 -po. This one, I think, 50. Let's apply it. Yeah, it's working, and as you can see. Let me go to the 3D view, and as you can see, we get this one. Why I'm not using, for example, the fillet or something like the sweep or the reveal? Because this one I can calculate uh, easily. As you can see, it's already here or it's already here it's really helping to me calculate and uh, let's say control it if you will go for example to the our edit group we can add these two things here don't forget align it between two of them like this and let's finish and let's see what we will get as you can see here is our facade already 
we can place one more here, one more here, and as you can see how we really fast now working. We're not spending now a lot of the time. I will do it here right now. Let me will use the copy. And I will copy it somewhere here. Of course, it not will be placed. Pick the... Uh, sorry. Where is the pick? I will pick one here. And uh, I will copy it and place it here. Now I will go to the facade view. And let me will place on the uh, right side. As you can see here the middle and here the middle. Okay, and here I will do the same thing here. Here the middle and here the middle. Now let's go to the 3D view. And as you can see, we have here. Let's apply it. And now we have it everywhere. So now your facade not so boring as you can see. Yes, you can continue to create all of them. For example, you can place it one more here. Oh, sorry. Where is the panel? Uh, copy. And uh, you can place it here. You can place it here. Don't forget about the align because it's sometimes on the 3D everything correct, but on the real it's not. I said align. Okay. And the same thing again. Go to the edit group. Just add to the things and just apply it. So you now have it everywhere. So like this you can create your facade. Yeah, it takes the time, but this is facade much detail. As you can see, it really takes a lot of the time. So if uh, you see like you can create facade in five minutes, it's not will be beam model. Don't forget about it because the beam model it's about the detailing and information. Now here we have the, a lot of information. We can calculate easily how much, for example, we should spend the, the clinker panels. We can calculate how much isolation we have and it will be right uh, number. We have uh, also the construction part. We have the correct the windows with the different types. And also, as I said before, we have this one clinker, uh, the things, which is also calculating these gaps too. This is also the main thing. So this model, it's really much correct. If you like this tutorial and you want more tutorials about the deep understanding the of facade, just don't forget to let me know about this under the comments, share this video and like it. Because all of these things helping me to understand you need it. Thank you guys for watching and see you on the next series about the facade.